Hi, this is Tim Just, the 8020TD, T-H-E-80-20 td.com small effort big results this is part two on our series of how to do pairings with win td we've already made the pairings but there's a couple of little extra things that you need to know for instance what do you do about those people that have buys that you can have a houseman play against let's look at the open section down here remember we kept these at the bottom so they'd be easy to get to here we have this fellow who has a buy and would really like to play a game. We found a houseman for him who's willing to play him in his section, not in the extra game section. This technique works also if you'd like the game to be played in the extra game section. It'd be a lot easier to figure this out if I knew what everybody's ratings were. So what I'm going to do is change the look at this screen first. I'm going to go up to edit and I'm going to make sure I've already clicked on this screen and then I'm going to change the layout. I'm going to change it for all the screens because this is going to be useful. For this round, I need to know, because it's only round one, what the rating of the player was. So I'm going to add that. And then I need to know the rating of the second player. If you're doing this for any other round, you're going to have to look at a wall chart sorted in results order in order to do this better. That way you know what color to assign the player who's playing the houseman. At any rate, over here I have these ratings 1 and ratings 2, but they're not going to appear where I want them. I want the ratings 1 moved up to be right before player 1 and the score. For the ratings 2, I want to move that up to be before score 2 and player 2. You can arrange this any way you want. This is just my personal preference. You'll notice that now the player's ratings are here. I can see by looking here at this pairings list that this fellow would have been assigned black in this round. So let's go enter his opponent and then make a pairing for him. First step is let's find an opponent for him. Let's see, open, players, add a player, You've seen this screen before in some of our other videos. Let me add myself as the house player. Oh, there I am. I'm all set to go. Here's one major trick that's going to save you a lot of headaches. Assign buys? What? This is a houseman. If it's a houseman playing the person assigned the buy, this houseman probably won't play the other rounds. Highlight the other rounds and make sure that player gets a zero point buy in those rounds so that when you go to pair those rounds you don't accidentally pair this player again. I realize that sometimes your houseman is a player that is thrown in with the mix of all the other players and paired as though they paid an entry fee. That's your choice. As long as they don't win any prizes, that's fine. You won't need this technique if you don't use the houseman to play only one game. Okay, uh, let's see. Okay, we don't want to enter anybody else. Now, let's go get a player for this fellow. Let's see, open, section, enter a manual pairing. Two list, one for white, one for black. Well, let's see, I'm going to be white, and this other fellow's going to be black. Round one, round one. These can be changed if you want to do a cross-round pairing. We'll look at that in another video. And if you'll remember, we went up through board seven, so these two players can play on board eight. And you'll also note that uh, we didn't start the other players till they were on board 10 in the other section, so we're okay. And notice how this suddenly just showed up here. You'd be wise to print this again and hand it out to everybody that needs it. Here we go. Print. Okay. I'm going to shrink it down. You might recall that in the booster section, we had an odd player. We had a player getting the buy. And we had something similar in the reserve section. We also had a player getting the buy. Note their names. Go find them and ask them what they want to do. 
if they want their buy and they want to go sit down and relax or leave the site to go have a meal that should be their choice if they want to play a game in the extra game section you have a perfect pairing here they get to keep their buys in their section and then play their game for a rating only it will have no effect on the color and no effect on prizes in their sections in this tournament in the extra game section here's how you handle that note their names uh-huh got it you might recall that we had this list of players here and this was everybody there's a real slick trick you can use to get this player into that section the extra game section let's see we had this player and if we go down the list ah here we go here's the other player I've highlighted them both the edit menu will copy them I highlight the extra game section I list all the players which of course there are none but now I can paste these two players in here yes they'll be in more than one section we know that there you go this trick works especially well for round one now that I have these two players in the section let me shrink these down again I make sure I'm on the extra game section and what I can do is once again do a manual pairing well they flip the coin and this player is going to be white this player is going to be black you can leave them sign the board 101 if you have to make another pairing in the extra game section for another round they'll be on board 102 it really won't matter you can physically put them anywhere you want let's see round one yes and you should be round one on all of these uh, it's really rare that you would have a player in here more than once but you might have a round two and you can deal with that on your own a little later and we'll show you how to do that in another video we're okay these two players are now played are paired against each other let's look at that yep there they are and then you're all set to either print this and post it or make them report directly to you what the results are it's your choice we've changed the layout we've done a couple other things and in this case we're all set to enter results which is going to be our next video see you then